So this is going to be something a bit different. I uh, finally started on listing a couple things on eBay and so, uh, so far it's going okay. Um, uh, not actually, now that I really think about it, I'm not quite sure. Scanner. Uh, at least scanner always got, always got the scanner going. Got the, this portable scanner. This base scanner. But, uh, that's the different, different kind of video. Well, like I said, I've started out with Patches. In specific, these are a lot of patches that I got. Uh, I got them in one. I got a. Uh, it was a lot of 37 different patches. It had a bunch of different local ones, or like Erie County ones that I wanted. So I kept those ones and then figured eventually I would sell off the uh, ones I don't want. That's not good. I don't want, can't have that getting bent. Uh, I figured a bunch of I'd sell off the ones I don't want. So as you can see, I got quite there are a lot of more variety. Uh, it's a bit of a variety of ones, a couple ones from Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Kentucky, Alaska, a couple different ones from Alaska, a couple Air Force ones. Uh, Rhode Island. Another Alaska one. Uh, this actually just recently I'm pretty sure this era. Uh, Air Force Base in Galena, Alaska. It's not even open anymore. But anyways, like Seattle. Anyways, you get the point. A bunch of different patches. So I start off selling these. Or that's kind of what I started off and have listed. Uh, let's see. Go to Active. Oops, I'm not, I'm gonna say nothing. I say. Oh my god. Yeah, I can show you this. All right. So you can see active, I got 21 active listings at the moment of all my different patches. Um, some of these, as you can see, have watchers on them. Uh, there's a couple different ones with watch. Oops, there it's got watchers on them. Uh, like this Portland one, it's got two watchers, so I might send out an offer for, I don't know, like seven, seven fifty, something like that, see if anyone bite, see if one of them bites. Uh, so, uh, like I said, most of them are in a different kind of variety of prices on them. So, this one has got a see the bright one's gonna see, and as you can see, too, not a lot of views on, on them. But, um, you get the point. So, like I said, uh, so far I've sold three different ones. Um, these are, uh, this is not. I sold, um, what I sold was an N42 of Boston, it was a different, it wasn't this one, it was a different one, I just dropped it in the mailbox this morning, actually, uh, uh, let's see, let's see, where is it, uh, let's see, go to souls, uh, there you go, so, like I said, that's sold. Within a couple of hours, I was actually kind of surprised. So, like I said, dropped that in the mailbox the, uh, this morning. But, uh, the funny thing is, with these two Atlanta ones, Truck 16 and Company 10, funny thing is, is this morning, about 8 o'clock, I had gotten an offer on each of these, mind you, both of these Atlanta ones in specific. It was, um, for $5 each. Um, I checked it. I checked eBay, uh... I looked just before noon. Uh, I noticed the offer came in at about eight o'clock. Was kind of, and uh, I was thinking about it. I was gonna uh, when I got back home from work or later in the day, whatever. I because you have twenty four hours. I was gonna make a decision. And actually, I was I was gonna accept just to move them, get out, get them out. But what ended up happening was um, some guy came in and bought both of them, uh, full price, and paid. So. Uh, uh, well, I guess that's what that guy gets for trying to save a couple bucks and ended up losing out on them. At first, I thought he had just ended up just buying them instead of waiting because I, I, th I thought I might have just taken too long and he just ended up buying them. I looked, no, it's actually it was a different guy. So, uh, big rip to that guy. But these ones are not 
uh, there is other ones listed. So if you really want some, I'll just have to buy from someone uh, else, not me. I'll have to buy them from someone else. So, anyways, on the uh, one, which one is this one? Nine dollars. Which one is this one? Oh, it's nine dollars because it's the two of them together. Um, uh, seven, oh, eight. So this one, um, like I said, made seven fifty. Uh, let's see, nine dollars total because it's the eight dollars for the patch, dollar shipping. The total fees was a dollar fifty, so I made seven fifty. But I uh, figure seven fifty minus what they cost. Um, out of the twenty six to sell, they cost about two forty a piece, and all in and all the patches all together were like a dollar seventy. So I've just been taking the two forty off when I cal calculating profits. So that brings me dollar down to five dollars and ten cents. Then minus shipping, shipping is costing I don't know, it's like sixty cents. It's pretty much just the cost of the stamp and an envelope. Which the envelopes I got this. 40 pack of them from the Dollar dollar Tree, so, like I said, it's like, I just call it the 60 cents, so that leaves me with 450 on this one, and then the other one, uh, actually, I'll show you down here, uh, the fees that got taken out, because it's in the collectibles category, 12, um, 12 and a half percent fees, so dollar twenty, and then 30 cents for the final value fee, so, then on the other one, eight dollars, dollar thirty-six in fees, six sixty-four, or so six sixty-four minus the oops, so six sixty-four minus two forty in fees. It's giving me calculator is being difficult. So, but anyways, it made you know a couple bucks. Which is not bad, so there we go. 424, and then like I said, minus 60 cents for shipping, so 364, not bad. But uh, this video is getting quite lengthy, and I didn't think it would be. But, anyways, uh, I got my little light box, uh, little 12 by 12 light box. Got it off Amazon, it was 40 bucks, but I actually ended up signing up for the Amazon. Uh, their credit card, so I got the $150 gift card that they offer, so that technically was free, the little postage scale, I think I got that off eBay, that was pretty cheap, I use it, uh, primarily I was using it downstairs to weigh out scrap, and kind of see what things weigh, so, um, that doesn't really count, but I might, I don't know if I will actually get another one to have downstairs, or one that'll hold more weight or anything, but um, it's not a bad little scale. Like I said, that was pretty cheap. Uh, I'll look back at my eBay uh, purchases. Like I said, it was probably that was probably under twenty bucks as well. But uh, kind of finally gonna get to what I um, wanted to explain is like all those hard drives we found. Remember that video? We found all those brand new, at least what I'm pretty sure are brand new hard drives. All those brand new security hard drives. So. If, I got three four terabyte ones and two eight terabyte ones. So as you can see, I kind of got them in this Pastoroni box. Um, they fit fairly well in a in the Pastoroni box. So I got the hard drive shoved in there. And then I have these boxes that I found in a dumpster, of course. U line eight eight by eight by five, um, and they will they fit okay in here. It definitely needs a little bit of. Packing material. I did just order some styrofoam peanuts uh, to use, but you get the point. So it fits in there. It fits in there uh, quite nicely. There we go. So it fits in there. It leaves a little bit of room. I probably will take the box out a little bit. So at least room to leave, put some packing around this, and this should fit, ship quite nicely. These I don't quite know. I don't know. I'm thinking they're worth maybe I don't know about hundred dollars for parts of repair. 
uh, if I were to list them as parts of repair, which is probably what I will list them as, because I'm not quite sure, actually, if these even are actually brand new or not, or if these were just thrown in static bags. I'm pretty sure they're brand new. I don't but a lot of them, the dates on them are pretty old. A lot of these are like, you know, five, six ish years old. They're they're fairly old in terms of hard drives. I know I've looked up hard drives last about five years, so that's why I'm not quite sure if someone could even use them. So they're kind of they're kind of more like a parts and repair slash used category, I guess, or like new. So. That's probably what I'll just list them as. So like I said, about, I don't know, probably about 100 bucks a piece. Maybe I'll get a little more out of them. Or maybe set them at, you know, auctions. Auction them off or try it with one and see how it goes. But like I said, they fit fairly nice in this box. I'll probably take it down a little bit. Put some nice packing material in it. I, just, I ordered some packing peanuts. So, or maybe I'll use some packing peanuts and newspaper. And, uh, newspaper. Kind of, you know, give it a nice cushion. So, uh, those will be fairly nice, I guess. Consider, well, they were free, and pretty much it's costing, not costing much to pack them. So, other than the packing peanuts, it was 14 bucks for what four cubic feet. I'm pretty sure it was. And the hard drives I got for free, and they've just been sitting around. Probably would have been worth more if I would have sold them the first year when I got them, but, oh well, that's because that, on um, some of them they were fairly new, they probably would have still been usable back then, so this, oh well, it'll just be a deal for someone, make me a couple bucks, not worried about it, then the other thing is this first gear, uh, it's the city of Chicago, uh, I have one up here in my display, so the city, city of Chicago is kind of like the vintage one, vintage one. These are like the old style of trucks. Um, I actually got it. <laughs> um, this, I was going through, or for every year for Christmas, we usually get like one big kind of thing, which usually is one of my die cast trucks. Uh, this actually, I didn't even notice I had it. I seen it. I'm like, oh, I don't have that one. And then after Christmas, at some point, I noticed I do have one of these. So that's where this is. So that's why I have this one. And, uh, I'll, I'll sell this one off. Well, that interruption was James. Uh, I don't even know where I was. Uh, but this video has gone on plenty long enough. So, anyways. Uh, I ordered the... I'm now thinking about it with the packing peanuts. I probably shouldn't have ordered those. Whoops, I technically still have time to cancel the order. Uh... I very well might. But then think about it with the hard drives. You don't want to use packing peanuts because it might. Because uh, it'll settle to the bottom. Which is not what you want. You want it kind of in the middle. I remember that from when I had to send, send my hard drive in to get recovered. Uh, it says don't use packing peanuts. Don't put it in a padded envelope. Because you want it kind of in the middle. Uh, this, I mean. Packing peanuts is what this came with. I don't really. I say, I'm, I'm probably just going to actually cancel that order. Or see, if I'm, see if I'm allowed to cancel it. So, um, this I can kind of just fill in with like this air foam or packing peanuts newspaper, or not packing peanuts, or uh, newspaper, or these air ones, because it would, it, this fills it and it'll be secured pretty well. Got a little bit of space on the side, so didn't quite think that one through. So, uh, um, when I go out to the drive and I'll see if I can find some bubble wrap or these air, f you know, air foam or something. It's anything that I could use. So, uh, got, uh, so that, like I said, we'll pretty much wrap this up. Uh, if there was anything super important that I forgot, that I forgot about in my train of thought, I'll bring you back. But, so that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, I'm starting to do a little bit of selling on eBay, getting some stuff out of here. I'm trying to make a couple bucks, see what we can make this in the next couple of months. Uh, see what we've made so far, we've already made 20 bucks. Uh, but it's not quite my county, i got to wait for the funds to clear. 
because uh because I'm a new seller, so it'll take a little bit for the funds to clear uh, to make sure like you know the buyer receives the items and all that, which uh, will take a couple days because it's just being shipped like a regular envelope. Because that's the nice thing about the patches is you can just slap it in an envelope, drop it in the mailbox, and call it done. You don't have to spend like four or something dollars to get uh, to ship it first class and have the tracking with it. And uh, that's pretty standard, uh, at least in the patches community, that's pretty standard to just ship it in an envelope. Uh, like I said, I'm going to end it here before I think of something else to say. So we'll see you guys in the next video.